All right, so for the folks who are live on my uh, on YouTube, blessings to you guys. If you're live on Facebook or Roku uh, or you're logged on to just, you know, streaminghubradio.com, blessings to you. I got my... Uh, why, Fambo? This is a this is a pleasure to uh, kick it with you. I think mm -hmm. we I think we're good now with your song and everything. Fambo, what you been up to these last days? I want to get into that. Well, um, I just um, had an EP re release um, last year, um, coming down to Christmas, and uh, I had um. Montana Soprano and that, and I had a uh, life and all that stuff, and um, so and, um, just doing promotions and um, basically your, 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 um, a Spanish song that I did with um, Mara Grande and, and Cruz Rock. Oh, I did that video and I did um, did some promotion for it, and then back in Jamaica doing some um, some local stuff for and all that stuff, just like the song that I sent you. Um, that's and them stuff that just connecting back with the ground and the streets because I've been overseas promoting a lot recently, you know. Right. But, um, kind of recording and doing interviews and photo shoots and what we are doing, you know. It's been crazy. Funny enough, I uh, I gotta find that that record with Amara La Negra. I didn't even realize you did a record with her, but just doing a little bit uh, and some extra research. I found out that you have a pretty cool record with her. Um, how did that collab? Yeah. How did that collab happen? While well, I find this song real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there's a friend of mine named Andrew Paul who know um, Cruz, the other artist, and uh, then he had me record on the track, and then he said uh, he was going to get her. And then we got her on the track. None of us uh, record at the same place. So I recorded in Jamaica, they re she recorded um, Virgin Island, she recorded in uh, Miami. Right. And then we actually did the video in Miami. Pretty cool. I uh, I really want to play this record. For those of you who do not know this record, it's called uh, Toa Toa. Toa Toa. Toa Toa. Uh, and it's a Marla Negra and um, Future Fan Bizzle. Cool cruise rock yes uh bought this record last night so let me go ahead and have uh have the folks take a listen if you haven't heard it you're hearing it now right here at streaminghubradio.com <laughs> It's a nice vibes because it's more um it's more um on the, on the, the it's, it's world music you know, but it's more like in the spanish market so exactly it's is 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 a different genre and you know you have to always try to um you know um you know challenges and them stuff so it's a good vibe so it's not like probably you know a year like um some a regular dance hall station of people because a dance hall DJ and so right. so you could have pick up in the market. So it's doing good in a Dominican 
um, St. Croix and Colombia and Puerto Rico and all of them places. Awesome. I love it. So what is your secret to maintaining and staying relevant, still popping out records and doing everything that that, a, that an artist should do? I mean, you've been in the business for years. How Just do you maintain? Alive, you know. <laughs> in a life. True. That's the biggest motivation right now, cause you know, I've lost so many friends and so many families and stuff. So right. the greatest thing right now is to be alive and just know that you know, once you have life, everything is else is extra. So you don't need a next motivation more than that. So just living is a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah, I I I agree, and I I, th I thank so you for. I thank you for re remaining relevant. Do you have anybody under your wings right now that you that you're grooming, that you're helping, that you're helping them to understand the business and what it comes with? Well, I don't have anybody under my wing, you know, but um, there's a lot of friends that I know. Right. And um, basically, you know, like t from ten years on, ten the years now. Weekend, Atlantic City tickets like go on sale this Thursday. Ninety-nine dollar uh, intro uh, early bird sale will be for one hour only. Yes, for so one hour only at a random time. Only way to get notified is to follow at the right way and all your platform them. You know, to one um entity and them stuff. So it's just it's, as I said, it's, it's music business. Right. It's just like you are already speaking. It's like when people um hit you up and said, oh, we need commercials and all that stuff. That's what a really pays for a way the radio station is. So you can't do radio business. You have to you can't do radio. You have to do radio business. Hmm. Inter <laughs> in interesting take. Um, two forty-five. I'm gonna take a break and come back at you. Don't move, fanboy. No sir. <laughs> Selling or buying property in Jamaica? At Big Law, we're going low. Well, at least on legal fees. Away with 3%. Away with 2%. Worried that your lawyer will sprint away with your money? At Big Law, we give you that Big Null assurance the only money we collect are legal fees. All other funds are deposited in a financial institution of your choice in a secure account. We will have no access to this money. Come in and negotiate your property fees with us. We will assist you in negotiating lower property agent fees. Types of cases we handle include real estate, accidents, injuries, probate, wills, divorce. Contact Bigma Law Firm at info at bignalawfirm.com. 187-675-44818. www.bignalawfirm.com. Instagram, Bigma Law. Twitter, Bigma Law. LinkedIn, Bigma Law. Facebook, Bigma Law Firm. Address, Bigma Law. The Bigma Building intersection of Hagley Park Road and Maxfield Avenue, halfway tree Kingston 10, Jamaica. Here for you. Available 24-7 every day. The Western Union app and the websites gives you the option of sending money from the comfort of your home straight to your loved one. With Western Union, you can send money to banks in Jamaica, including Jamaica National, JMMB, Scotiabank, NCB, First Global Bank, and more. Tell your receiver in Jamaica to register their bank account by visiting www.gkmsonline.com or their nearest Western Union location and receive funds directly into their bank accounts. Get fast and convenient service when you download the Western Union mobile app or go online at wu.com for more information visit wu.com or call 305-608-6325 services may be provided by western union financial service Inc. nmls number 906983 or western union international services llc nmls number 906985 which are licensed as money transmitters by the new york state department of financial services see terms and condition for details your daily habits can make or break you and the best way to have healthy habits is with intent. Morphia is the herbal tea and smoke blend provider ready to fit into your routine. Morphia creates signature blends of powerful teas and natural smoking herbs that aid in healing and nourishing the body day after day. Ditch your unhealthy habits and become a better you with Morphia. Morphia, enhance your daily ritual with intent.
Do you want to learn how your music can make you more money? Money. 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 Let's go. Songfest. Songfest is the leading marketplace for buying, selling, and advancing music royalties. If you're a recording artist, music producer, writer, recording label, or any music rights owner, we can provide options for catalog sales or advances for the lowest rates in the industry. Keep your copyright. Get funds now. now. Contact us for a custom proposal at songfest.com slash radio. Songfest can quickly analyze royalty statements from any pro, distributor, publisher, or label and provide a custom proposal. Our unique auction process ensures that you get the highest value for your royalty stream. The Songfest team has been helping music royalty owners for more than 10 years. Public auctions or private sales are available, and you keep your copyright. Learn more at songvest.com slash radio or email info at songvest.com. DJ Karma. Karma. That's how it's going down. Flipping your Friday. Joining the convo. Joining the convo. Turn up for the music. Vibe on the hub. I don't have the clean version, I so I can't that. even play it, but it bad. bad. After the recording in um, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and the guy who built the rhythm is from Atlanta, Georgia, so he's a, he's a person that built the rhythm for 50 Cent and um, Eminem, and it's so lucky that um, when my producer was doing the album with me, Evolve, he had up um, at his studio, and mm -hmm. he was playing some beats. He was like, so, oh... I don't really have any dancehall DJ beat, but I have this beat here. Right. And um, I've never um, I've never um, used it before. So I want me here, I'm going to start right in front of it. Tell boy, this is the bad boy, sir. Boy, this is them bad boy around. Hey. So we take, you know? We can't so, pop bad boy tongue. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, the clean way. I'll be the radio. Right. I couldn't find a clean version last night. I'm like, yo, what is this? Give me a bad boy song. Boy, love it. Love it. I think, oh, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing BC, because that's the name of the song, right? Blood, beep. Yeah, no, yeah, but bad, bad boy walk is the, um, is bad the, boy song is the, got is you. Is the, is the edit. Bad boy song is the edit. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find out. I was talking about bad boy one too, but it needs to be edited too. You have the other clean version, but no, no. Yeah, like I pray, you know, that when artists, I'm not saying you, but you know, when you guys are making music, that we make the the yeah, raw always, version always, and the yeah. Always, 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 um, always made um a clean version to well, it. Yeah. You know? So. But that's how the song really came by first, the original vibes, you know? Yeah. But, um, we always made the radio vibes too. And then there's a remix because Sean Paul jumped on it. Yeah. Who are the other yeah. artists that jump on this remix? I need it. Beanie Man at DeMarco. Beanie Man at DeMarco. There you go. I love it. I love it. I love it. Found the instrumental and said, all right, let me let me get it so we can we can talk about it. You know, say, should I give me something yeah. on this fumble? Oh, so should I give me a freestyle on this? Yeah, I'm good, huh? Oh, yeah. It's still, I'm still having to edit. It's still having to edit. Hey, man. It's still having to edit. <laughs> Give me one of your old songs, then pardon this man, remix. Why this? No question. You never did a real bad man. 
and I ask Pepper, Mama we ask Pepper, this respect, but like Pepper. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> I love it. Hey, man. <laughs> Thank you, Fabo. So, um, you have a record right now with uh, Bobby Shmurda. I uh, I found it. Wanna drop that one? How did how are you getting all these these really good collaborations? How did you uh, did you meet Bobby Shmurda? How did that no, happen? No, no, the song, I, I know I know Bobby, but the song, the song Bobby is not in the song. The song is is the Bobby Shmurda dance. All right, so you say it's the dance and not the, right, got it. All right, so Bobby Shmurda is the name of this one by Future Fambo. I'm going to drop it because I got it. Yeah, it's clean. You know, you know, say play too much. Give me a dance because I've never, and I'll be honest, I've never heard of or seen this dance. I must be living underneath a rock at this point. No, you don't know Bobby Schmurder. I know Bobby Schmurder, but oh, wait, was it that dance he yeah. did the other day? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> and then he got all one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't buy a new one. <laughs> no, my dear, go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just what you got to do is um, you are uh, you are an adult, but then when you are doing music, you got to have fun with it like you're a kid. True. Because the one don't want to come and tell about John was star. You know, she becomes to me, oh, I'm about to write a song for you name COVID. I don't want to sing about COVID. I don't want to hear about it. Hmm. Nobody want to hear about I don't want to sing about COVID. We need this thing to go. We don't need it to stay. Right. So why, <laughs> why would, I go and why sing would you want to sing about that? Oh, COVID is killing everybody. Nobody don't want to hear that. Right. You're going to the rain, going to work in the morning. You don't want to hear about COVID. You're going to work. You, and then, oh, this guy's playing this song about COVID. We already know it's already here. Yeah. It's already here. Yes, it is. We're going to do a song about it. Oh, no. <laughs> right. So we have to we have to put by the fun of the music. Brand new dance is our murder. Do we see everybody here do the Bobby's murder. People said to me, they said, um, Fambo, it's not even the dance, but like the way all your DJ. Right. The way all your DJ and the way all, because most of the acts them now is like sing J. Every song where you put on, they go, oh, baby, I love you. Hey, whoa, hey, dude. Nobody know a DJ again, like, <laughs> walk like a chum, walk like a chum. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Everybody are sing J. So it's, it's, it'll come like, say, all right, now, me and um, me and Wayne Wanda do a song. And Wayne Wanda sing. Oh, wait, I hear people back at you now. Oh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. We want them singing DJ. What are you singing to? Exactly. So we keep it original DJ. So it's a good song produced by Quick Cook and it's an humble youth. And sometimes you can't do the record for a big label and it don't reach nowhere. And you do the record for a small label and that's the record that take off. I agree. I want to uh, I want to drop this record fambo stay online. We're going to take the break at the top of the hour and come back to you. But I want to blaze this record right here. It's called Bobby Schmurder by Future Fambo. It's a Jamaican, New York, England, Florida, Cold Pass, 
if you walk with the Bobby's murder. Bad boy walk, Bobby's murder. Ding dong, mix the rich walk with his murder. Energy kid, praise them for the Bobby's murder. It's a data, hot like a volcano. Time a man's a part, they got the third. Please stop in a kibal with his murder. Shelly belly, not kibal, not kibal, not kibal. Boom, boom, all right, I have them bust on data. Run you down, so I want to murder. Let me see every party and do the Bobby's murder. Dance. I like it. <laughs> Fambo, uh, so Fambo, I have a young in on, online with me. Her name is Lexi. She's my correspondent um, <laughs> in Jamaica. But it's it's three o'clock and um, well, almost three o'clock. I'm gonna take the break and uh, and come back at you. I do have another. Inter I will not lie to you. I have an interview at three with J Jamaica National. But I feel like when I get for talk, but what we want for talk about. We have to follow up. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like there's more. There's more because you've you've you know you've done it all. Yeah, man. So at this point, all right, I'm gonna take the break. Jay and call you use Jamaica National. Definitely, Jay. Jamaica National is the best. That's why I need to stay on the line. All right, we'll take a break. <laughs> <laughs> With some yeah. more. All right. Yeah. All right. Our family and friends are a big part of who we are. They are our biggest supporters and confidence and our source of bellyfuls of laughter. And when it comes to keeping you connected, Western Union is here to make it safer and easier with their digital services. Now your family and friends overseas can send you money without leaving home by using the Western Union app or westernunion.com. Just visit gkmsonline.com to register and share your banking details with your sender to start receiving funds directly to your bank account so you don't have to leave home to collect. Grace Kennedy Money Services, home of Bill Express, FX Trader, and Western Union, doing our part to help you stay safe and connected Lady to Eloise the world. A roller coaster of captivating interviews, tackling a plethora of trending topics and issues with the most fascinating people. From the Caribbean to Florida to the globe, exploring education to lifestyle to social injustice, celebrities and unsung heroes are welcomed because everyone has a voice. The Lady Eloise Show keeps you informed, engaged and entertained. Log on or tune in weekdays from 10 to 1 on streaminhubradio.com. Tune into Crossing Borders with me, DJ Boom Love, each and every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the best Caribbean urban and world beats on Florida's number one online station, Streaming Hub Radio. Are you an independent recording artist, music producer, a record label, or corporation looking for the best ways to advertise your product? Streaming Hub Radio is here to serve you. Build your brand, promote your product worldwide on our social media platforms. Visit our website at www.streaminghubradio.com. Our app on Apple and Google Play Store. Roku TV, podcast shows on Spotify. iTunes, Apple, and Google Podcasts. For more information, visit our website at www.streaminghubradio.com. Com. or email us at info at streaminghubradio.com. Give us a call at 954-289-8589. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? This is Nicki Minaj. Yo, what's, yo, what's up, y'all? This is Kanye. Bringing you all the only the hits. Setting you off for another amazing musical sweep. It's Hub Inferno. All right, so uh, my time, two minutes after three, we rocking it on the hub. Uh, Kimberly in Miami says, Fambo, um, future Fambo. Vanessa in West Palm Beach says, love your music, future Fambo. Vanessa in West Palm, she's also on her head top and she's letting us know that beyond me is necessary. Wilding out to your music. Uh, and so is Wendy Smith. So Fambo, are you hearing me? I hear you, mate. 
All right. So, so you're working on you're working on new stuff right now, right? All the way, cause it's the only way you're gonna stay. Um, cause if, if you don't, it's like the lotto. If you don't buy a ticket, you can't win. So you gotta keep on recording. That is true. So if you don't, so if you are crying like as an artist, oh, they're not playing my song. You ain't recording. Hmm. So one day, so you gotta keep on recording until one day they start playing song. So or is it that like, uh, or is it that it don't sound good enough to be played? All right, so keep make another one. True. Make it better. What do you think about um, uh, uh, no, as a as a vet? Um, how do you think? How do you how do you feel about the evolution of dancehall music? Um, where's there's an evolution? <laughs> well, um, I'm talking about the trap stuff. The trap music, yeah, I think well, that's an well, evolution, <laughs> right? No? Yeah, because if, if you check it out, um, Bad Boy Song was the first trap music that released. You know, dance hall, check it. We switch out to the ear, yeah, right? Hmm. Dance hall beat, so, um, hip hop beat, so, before me. I rhyme on it like an attack patwa, and it makes sense. That's an interesting <laughs> take. That go for the food, yeah? Mm -hmm. But oh no, the stuff that I hear now sound weird to me. That's what I'm mean. trying to tell you. Say. They're the first one I really go there so with it with the trap with music it. because if I check it out, Atlanta that that's the trap. That's 808. Right, right. Hmm. So it going anywhere? No, I'm gonna win. And it's, just, and it's truth. But then, you know, I, I've been reading a lot of articles and just uh, opinion pieces from, from different people. And um, they're saying, well, maybe if they change the lyrical content and still use the trap beat, then it may make a difference. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me rephrase that. We can't say it now, going away because, you know, um, it's music, music travel. So you have to just give the fans them a. Uh, um, it's up to the fans. It's not up to you as a user artist you're supposed to deliver. So it doesn't matter what beat it is or what genre it is, because it's too Spanish, Calypso, we do everything. Just make sure it, you know you deliver. Hmm. All right. Fine. Um, I had another question. Juggling rhythms. Um, I've I've seen quite a few people talk about it and missing it and wanting it to come back um what are your thoughts about it how did it help the culture to have a juggling rhythm and different artists to jump on it yeah, because when you have a juggling rhythm it's like it's like every artist has them want a skill and them have them want a style so when you have like six seven songs on a juggling rhythm you have, have um four top songs and then sometimes you even have seven of the songs which hit on the rhythm. So it, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good because I'm from that genre. You understand? Right. So what could I say it's not? Okay. So. I love it. I, I kind of like to pick the veterans' brains just to see what them think, how them feel, and, you know, what do we do now? But you kind of, in a nutshell, let me know. It's it's not all bad. It's just we we'll probably need for structure it yes. a little bit more. Fine. Yeah, man. The vibe's good, man. Right. Got it. All right, Fambo. So you have new music coming out. We're going to be blazing this Bobby Schmur that it, ha it has a vibe, most definitely. <laughs> I cannot lie, yeah. and I will not <clears throat> lie about it. Because the music is the vibe, man. Right. You understand? Yeah. So. I mean, it's a vibes master, so it's a good look. Right, that's so. All it's right. definitely a good look. All right, so uh, for for the folks who are tuned in, Tracy Headley, uh, Future Fanboy, everybody pretty much uh, beginning up, Elizabeth, in Miami. Do you have any uh, events happening soon? Anywhere we can see Future Fanboy perform? <laughs> 